we're going to talk about it, the timeline for you. It, it's, you know, the next several days we have chances of rain, and, and they're decent chances, but they're not washouts of days. Every single day is not going to see 100% uh, coverage of rain. 82 is the high today. The normal is 78. The low this morning was 65. Outside right now it's 81 with south winds at 10 miles an hour. There are the clouds in north Texas, so we're getting muggy. You probably felt that today. Uh, we're not seeing rain until Thursday night. Now tomorrow's chance along the Red River about a 10 maybe 20%. It's Thursday night into Friday morning when we ramp up the chance for round one. So we go from 50 to 80% coverage with severe thunderstorms possible. And I really want you to pay attention to this this graph here uh, because you'll you'll see how it kind of ups and downs ups and downs and we get pauses in between the rounds of storms. So again, first round Thursday night into Friday. A good chunk of Friday will be dry. We may see redevelopment of thunderstorms uh, Friday afternoon and Friday evening for parts of the area. Friday night will be mostly dry. Then we ramp up the chance again Saturday around midday or afternoon into Saturday night and then another round Saturday night into Sunday. The severe threat there's at least a little severe threat each time. So Thursday night into the overnight into Friday morning. Metroplex, this is the lowest one, uh, one on a one to five scale. The higher chance for severe weather Thursday night is going to be out in the Panhandle, western Oklahoma, uh, and down even close to Abilene where it's a level two to a level three. But you could see most of North Texas Thursday night under a level one. Then that chance overnight Thursday into Friday morning with possible redevelopment Friday afternoon, it's a level two risk for most of North Texas with large hail, damaging wind potential, can't rule out an isolated tornado. Then we get into Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. It's a level two slight risk for the Metroplex with a level three enhanced up into Oklahoma and along the Red River. This includes Gainesville and Bowie, uh, but level two for the Metroplex Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. And then Sunday, we have a level two slight risk in place for the Dallas Fort Worth area on our one to five with large hail, damaging winds and an isolated tornado. So you get the idea. It's, what we're saying is there's a chance for strong to severe thunderstorms uh, starting overnight Thursday into Friday morning, Saturday, Sunday, but it's not widespread and not everyone's going to be seeing severe weather the next several days. But it is that time of year where we have the scattered storms. We'll get some pauses in between them, but you need to make sure you stay updated on the weather in the next few days because it does get very unsettled. 68 tonight, mostly cloudy. Tomorrow's 80, mostly cloudy, warm, muggy, and breezy. Here's the 14 day, so the chances of rain are there. Scattered showers and storms through the weekend. Another chance of thunderstorms on Monday before we take a little bit of a break going into Tuesday. Then more chances for showers and storms are possible heading into the end of the following week. Hopefully we can at least calm down a little bit for the last five days of the 14 day forecast.